Hey everybody, it's Najee Dorsey, and you're with Naj now. What's your art world pet peeve? Um, I, my art world pet peeve is the bullshit, man. I mean, the, you know, the, um, um, the classism, the elitism, you know, a number of the isms, you know. That's my biggest pet peeve because I think I've enjoyed my journey in art from, you know, being an artist to picking up works and becoming a collector, becoming a dealer. And I think the beauty about this whole thing is the journey. And I think so much of it uh, has, has become predicated upon how people view, you know, artists' uh, stature or reputation uh, based on market price. You know, I mean, the market actually dictates so how so many people view the work. And for me, it really boils down to the work. Is the work strong? Is the work substantive? Does the artist have a unique style or perspective? Is there, are they contributing something, something new, something fresh, something dynamic? I remember giving an example. I remember going to a, um, a holiday party several years back. And there were a number of people there that collect and consume art. One of, the, one, of the, one of the individuals that was there only got excited when they saw a work by an artist of a name that they could recognize or a style they could recognize. I'm like, oh, that's a so-and-so, and, -so. and oh, you got a so-and-so. Never mind, this house was filled with amazing objects, amazing cultural uh, representation, representations of culture and forms of expression. But that you know, they only got excited about those names, and that's the thing that's really the turnoff for me. Is like because you know I can really get down with just art in general. I mean, it don't matter. Now, yeah, of course, I like to see um, works by artists of note when I come across it. But is that the is that the end all be all for me? No. You know, I think that um, the collectors I work with, and the people I work with, and the artists that I work with, and the ones that we collect, you know, they're doing really strong work. And the market will come around at some point, and the collectors will come around at some point. And even if they don't, it's cool because that's something that these are these are pieces that I believe in. These are pieces that emotionally, you know, that I had an emotional connection with that spoke to me. That you know, I see uh, a tremendous amount of value in. And at the end of the day, that's what I would recommend for you: look at the work for the value that it brings in your life you know and what it does for you and your quality of life and experience and aesthetics and what you, and what's going on in your world and um don't be so quick to trophy hunt because it can be a game of musical chairs that's my advice and that's my pet peeve